Topping tonight's consumer alert, Fiat Chrysler is recalling over one million vehicles because they could roll away after the driver has left. The problem was first noticed when drivers left their vehicle without putting it in park and ignoring the warning. The recall includes Dodge Chargers with model years 2012 to 2014, Chrysler 300 sedans, and model year 2014 to 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee SUVs. Over 40 injuries could be connected to this issue. The U.S. military banned the use of flamethrowers after the Vietnam War, but now you can buy one on the Internet. And in many cases, it's easier than getting a gun. Brian Webb reports. They can shoot fire up to 30 feet, and for around $1,200, you can own one. The XM-42 flamethrower is legal in every state except California and Ohio, where you need permits, and Maryland, where they're banned. They're made outside Detroit, and the small startup says sales are heating up. You know, most of our customers are way out in the country, and they have property. They, I mean, they see use for it. CEO Chris Byers says most customers want one for agricultural purposes, like burning fields and weeds. He claims it's also being used for snow removal, rock concerts, movies, and just for fun. I get some girlfriends to come out sometimes to try and, like, get some cool photos done, because everyone wants to try one. Another company called Throw Flame sells a larger version, but not everyone's so fired up about the business. It's a weapon of mass destruction, period. The mayor of Warren, Michigan, near where the XM42 is made, had them banned from his city. I had one guy say to me, I'd like to have one because you never know when a horde of crazy people are going to come at your home. And I said, you've been watching too much Walking Dead. Outside of zombie attacks, there's no need to have this. But Byers defends his product. It's a tool. I mean, depending on how you use it, anything can be used for harm. So we say punish the person that's using it, if they are. The company says it sold around 1,000 flamethrowers in just a few months. Brian Webb for CBS News, New York. With the change in seasons, you may have noticed some pesky bugs around the area. Some of them are sending people to the doctor's office. That story's coming up.